Hi everyone, I'm Dina with Mills Family Gardening. Welcome back to our channel. And today we're growing pink eye purple hull peas. They're very popular in the south because they love heat. We live in North Texas zone 8A and today is May 1st. It's perfect time to plant hull peas. In fact, in the next five days, we're supposed to get some rain and actually it's not ideal to plant seeds before big rain because the rain might wash the seeds away, but it's getting late in the season and so I have to plant the seeds today. There are three types of purple hull peas. The first type is vining variety. The second one is the semi-vining variety and and the third one is bush variety and that's what we're going to plant because they don't require a trellis and we don't have a trellis and I'm going to plant them in this little in-ground bed that we have actually this is a new in-ground bed that I kind of created this uh, last fall what I did I put some sheep manure on top of the ground and I mixed it a little bit with the ground not too deeply so the ground should be good for the seeds and you can also see that we have some marigold seedlings here actually these are volunteer seedlings that came back from last year's marigolds and I'm going to keep them here because they're a good pest repellents so I'm just going to plant purple hull peas seeds in between these marigold seedlings. If you live in a colder climate, then make sure you plant your purple hull peas four weeks after the last frost date. Purple hull peas are good nitrogen fixers and some people actually plant them as cover crops because they want to improve their soil. But in this case, I'm going to plant them for the harvest. Purple hull peas are one of the easiest vegetables to grow. So you really don't need to prepare your soil. Just plant them into the soil the way it is. And before I start planting, I'm going to water this in ground bed because it's been dry in the last few days. And you can see that our soil is kind of dry. So I'm just going to go ahead and water it real well so that at least one inch of the topsoil would be moist but not soggy. So I'm just going to use this bamboo stick to help me keep the line uh, straight and I'm going to plant the seeds about four inches apart and about half an inch deep. Since there are large seeds they can be planted deeper and they'll be just fine. So I'm going to open this package. This is the way the seeds look. And I'm just gonna go along this bamboo stick and poke holes with my fingers because the soil is moist. So I'm gonna use two seeds per hole. They have a good germination rate, so I'm pretty sure that at least one of them will germinate. So I'm gonna put them in the hole and if they're too shallow, then just push them a little deeper and cover them cover up the soil and I'm gonna keep going about four inches I would say about here so I'll make the hole push them in the, to the dirt and cover them up and I'm just gonna keep going like this until I plant all the seeds And now that we're done with the planting, I'm going to water them. And if it doesn't rain here, I'm going to keep watering them every day until they come up, but I'm not gonna keep the soil drenched. Our purple hull peas have come up. They're looking good. They are strong and healthy and green. So I'm not going to do anything right now. I'm not gonna fertilize them. I'm just gonna let them grow and I'm gonna keep watering them, not every day necessarily, just to keep the ground moist. And also it took them about four days to come up. The weather has been pretty warm. There was one night when it was in the high 40s, but they are still doing well. Today is May 28th and our purple hull peas are looking great. They're growing real well. All I've been doing is simply watering them. They're not flowering yet. I'm hoping soon they'll flower and start producing beans. And you can see that they're doing real well along with marigolds and I have some basil here. Today is August 28th and you can see that our purple hull peas are getting taken over by Seminole pumpkin and we decided to go ahead and make the final piece of this video 
Today we're going to harvest some of our purple hull peas and you can see right here they all are in different stages. Some of them are blooming like this one. Some of them are really young like this one. Some of them are in their more mature stage and some of them are already dry and I'll show them later. And we can harvest them when they are in this stage. And I need to be careful because fire ants like to eat them too. So I'm just going to remove it from the branch if the fire ants let me like that. And simply open the pod. And here are our purple hull peas. I'm sorry, one of them fell on the ground. But if you open them, here they are. This one is pretty old and it already got dry. So this one can be harvested for seeds. I'm going to remove it from the branch and just open it up. And here are our beans. Actually, they're not completely dry, but if I set them on the countertop and let them rest for a couple of weeks, they'll be completely dry and then I'll be able to plant them again and they'll grow into new plants. If you want to harvest purple hull peas seeds to plant them next year or in the next season, then it's better to leave them on the plant longer so they are completely dry and the beans inside are dry too. Overall, it's been a tough season to grow purple hull peas because of the extreme drought and heat this summer. And also we planted them too close to our seminal pumpkins that have started taking them over. But overall, they're very easy to grow. And if you live in a warm climate, you should definitely try to grow purple hull peas. It's all for now, and we'll see y'all in our next video. Bye-bye.